guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Welcome to my living room, first of all. I thought I'd switch up the backgrounds. Number one, because I cannot bear to sit in my office anymore. It's too hot up there. So welcome to my living room. Today's video is a little kind of home refresh, home haul. I've done a little bit of shopping for kind of like my summer house refresh. So I've just pulled some bits that I love and use, especially when it comes to the summer season. So talking things like outside garden pieces, water jugs for when we're eating outside, um, scenting, bedding, pajamas, all the lovely stuff that brings me joy in life. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's crack into it. Okay, starting off, I'm gonna show you some bedding. I have a thing about buying new bedding. Um, I don't go crazy, but I definitely like to purchase new sheets every year probably. Um, and I also have sheets that I love for the summer and I have sheets that I love for the winter. So the three brands that I get my bedding from is White Company, which is where I get like my throws and my cushions. Also bedding as well. TL Love Luxury is an incredible bedding company as well. Those two are a little bit more of a higher price point. The third company I adore is Dusk and probably the company I've bought most from over the years and they are just the best example of why you don't need to spend ridiculous amounts of money to get gorgeous bedding. So my whole spare bedroom is kitted out in Dusk so I have my bedding from there, I have my big throw, I have cushions and I also like cushion covers and I just kind of kitted out that whole room for really not that much money and it looks so beautiful. But I thought it was time to pick up a nice fresh duvet set for the summer for my main bedroom which is super king and I actually already own this dust bedding but for a king size bed which is in my spare room and I just love these little dots so simple I am definitely a white bed linen kind of girl I will never ever have a color I'll never have cream I'll never have anything other than pure white I just think it looks the best it looks fresh it looks clean it looks very inviting but I do love little details like this so like I say I already own this but it's for the spare room and I have been missing it in our main bedroom so I'm gonna wash this today and pop it on the bed nice and fresh for us tonight I then also picked up the matching pillowcases so you can see the same little beaded detail I just think it makes for a really lovely set so that's what I'm going to do today, wash these, iron them, and then pop them on the bed nice and fresh for tonight. And there's also nothing better than getting into your bed with fresh pajamas on and fresh bedding. Like that is my ultimate self-care moment. Lighting some candles, popping on the diffuser, like I love it. Talking of pajamas, another thing I like to do seasonally is pick up some new pajamas. I have a massive collection of pajamas. I love them so much. I have two different categories. One is the stuff I actually sleep in, so all the light pieces, some um, shorts, some little vest tops. And then the other category is the pajamas I wear kind of like from 4 p.m. until bedtime. So my lovely kind of silky pieces, um, long shirts and long trousers, matching sets, things that I wouldn't necessarily sleep in, but it's like my 4 p.m. outfit. So I picked up a new set from H&M. These are so beautiful. They're a little kind of classic pajama silky set. I just love the color. I don't own anything in this color pajama wise, actually at all. So these are long leg, wide leg, silky satin pajamas. Obviously they are H&M and not high end. So they are 100% polyester, which is one of the reasons I wouldn't sleep in them. I would get so hot. But for lounging around the house, I just think they're so beautiful. This is the matching shirt. When I wear them, I feel like I swoon around the house. So <laughs> things like this bring me joy. I did try my best not to wear these until I show them in the video, but I couldn't resist. And my dog has marked them up already. So that's a bit annoying. <laughs> There's a few different brands I love to get my pajamas from, but obviously number one is Napco. Number two is H&M. I have great selections from there and also they last really well like they wash well they last well and they're really not expensive and then the final place is a place called Mika and Co I think and they do lovely like linen sets um lightweight cottons just really good pieces for the summer okay moving on to probably my favorite category is scenting so candles diffusers incense oil burners all that jazz that is the category that I really put a lot of effort into especially year round um I like to have my scents for winter I have scents for autumn summer and spring I also have the most ridiculous amount of candles everywhere in this house and I burn them non-stop whenever somebody comes over to my house and compliments the smell of the candles or the smell of each room I mean even my bathrooms are scented like everywhere scented it's just such a compliment to me because I really adore different fragrances and creating different kind of environments in the house especially seasonally so I picked up a few new bits for summer the number one thing I get myself every season is a botanical candle from the white company so that's the ones that have the kind of bits inside them and this one I thought was just so beautiful Beautiful. It's tuberose and cashmere, which I think just screams fresh summer linens, easy breezy day. I think this is going to be so beautiful in my home. I have a lot of neutral tones, a lot of kind of marble. And my sofa, as you can see, is this really lovely velvet. And then I've got my little side table. So this candle, I feel, is just going to look so beautiful. 
placed somewhere. So again, I'm gonna be opening this one today and I'm very, very excited about that. I have saved this for the video. Okay, moving on from candles, another thing that I adore having around the house is an oil diffuser. So I've got a few of them. This is probably the one I use most, it's from Neom, it's their newest style. It's a lot bigger than their classic one and I just love how beautiful the Neom diffusers are. So this is the one we keep in our bedroom. You can change the light settings, you can also change how intense the diffuser is, which I really love. And it also comes with a little changer. So when I'm in bed, I have it on and I can just click it on and off from my bed without having to move, which I love. So as that one's in the bedroom, it's usually got sleep scent or chamomile, something nice and calm to send us to sleep. But for the diffusers down in the kitchen and in my office, I bought a new scent to pop in there. So this one's from the White Company. It's called Wild Mint. It smells so beautiful. It doesn't smell too overpowering of mint. I'd say it more kind of smells like spearmint, which is nice. So nothing too empowering, but still a beautiful scent for the house. So this is my new summer scent, um, which I'm gonna have in my office. I'm gonna have in the kitchen and then also we have one in the living room so that will be beautiful okay so another category inside of scenting is bath scents and kind of incense oils all that kind of like lovely calming sleepy kind of scents so i picked up two new things again um, I actually got this, which I've never tried before, but I have tried this range from the White Company, and it's the Sleep Relax Lavender and Chamomile Calming Bath Soap. So this is what it looks like. First of all, aesthetic will look gorgeous set on my bath. This also smells so, so beautiful. Um, it actually reminds me of my childhood because when I was a kid, my mom used to always put incense oil into our baths and on our pillows. So this transports me right back to my childhood and it also immediately makes me want to sleep. Like it's just so calming. But then also the White Company also now, I don't know if it's new, I think it must be new, Pure Aromatherapy Oils, which I absolutely adore. So these you can put into the diffuser, the electric diffusers. You can put them into your bath. Like I say, you can pop a little sprinkle on your pillow. So this one is organic eucalyptus. So it's a little bit more kind of energizing than the chamomile bath soak. But equally, this is the kind of thing that I would say just gets me in a good headspace. It makes me feel alive, makes me feel calm and happy. I know that might sound a little bit woo woo, but if you've ever tried aromatherapy oils, then you will know what I mean. So this is also a really good alternative if I wanted to switch up the mint scent, but also great for, like I say, bath pillows and just getting that really gorgeous kind of energy in the house. Okay, talking of energy this one also might not be for everybody but I like to sage my home not every single day not every single week but just when I feel like the house needs it if you're not sure about saging go on google and have a little research but basically what it does is it cleanses the house it's really great to do at the start of every season and um, you just kind of go around open the windows make sure you blow the flame out so it's just smoke coming off of it set your intention and it's something I absolutely love doing it also just makes the house feel fresh and ready and inviting and ready for a new season so this this sage I just get on Amazon and the little bowl is a crystal bowl and I cannot remember where it's from but I will leave it down below. I just think this is really cute. I also feel like it looks really beautiful. Just really really pretty and like I say good energy for the house. Okay I feel like scenting is definitely the biggest category so I'm going to quickly get through this. The next one is incense. I adore burning incense. Um, I actually keep the same scent all year round just because I really adore whatever one this is. But yeah incense is just a really great way to scent the house. It's very very strong so you don't need um, to use it too often. Again pushes into that nice energy of the house refreshing each season and yeah I just love incense okay the last part of the scenting is perfume again I wear different perfumes for each season I wear specific perfumes on holiday specific perfumes um, like year round but I do have the ones I change so my two summer scents one I've had since last year and it's just so beautiful so light and fresh and just very kind of feminine and I love it it's the Elizabeth Arden white tea and then something that I got recently which has become a firm favorite for the summer but more so kind of on holiday or when it's very very hot is Caudalie's Soleil de Vagine I think I'm saying that right and um, I didn't even know Caudalie did perfume and you guys know how much I adore that brand and so when I knew they had perfume I was like I need to try these and this one smells the same as the after sun so if you have the after sun and you like that smell you have to try this perfume it smells exactly like it literally just screams holiday at me it's so beautiful instantly when I smell it I think of like being on the beach so yeah a really gorgeous discovery there okay and then the kind of like the last category that I like to focus on for summer is outside dining just kind of like bringing living outside so my number one go-to place for accessories and all the pieces you'll be seeing in the cutaway like my um, pink cushions and some of my throws 
a lot of my tableware as well for outside is from Arigi Bianchi who do the most incredible like accessories. But I saw this little throw on H&M Home and I thought it was really, really gorgeous. I particularly love it because it matches so lovely in with my living room. I can put it over the back of the sofa. We can also use it just to kind of snuggle on throughout the year. But I feel like this is so beautiful for an outside blanket. So one of mine and Johnny's favorite things to do is just spend the day in the garden, which often leads to spending the night in the garden and it can get a little bit chilly. We don't have any kind of heaters outside. So yeah, I feel like blankets number one are essential, but number two, I just thought this one was so, so gorgeous. I love the little tassel details. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I think it was around about 20 or 30 pounds. So really not that expensive. So yeah, very, very chuffed with that. Another thing I adore doing in the summer is making jugs of water um, with lemons and limes and mint. We've got a little herb garden outside. So fresh mint. First of all, I just think it looks beautiful on the table outside, but also I love water and I love fruit infused water. So finding myself a lovely little jug like this, just number one, encourages me to drink more. And number two, brings me quite a bit of joy because it's just very, very pretty. So my friend actually bought me this one from the white company and I love it, but it does only ever get used in the summer when we can sit outside. There's so many beautiful jugs like this on the white company, H&M Home usually have some, um, Amazon do really good ones. So I'll link a few options down below. Okay, only really two more things. The first one is flowers. You guys know I love some flowers in the house. I feel like it really just brings some life and some color. As I said, my house is very neutral and beige. So having a really lovely colorful bouquet sat in the kitchen is just so gorgeous So the one that you guys will be seeing is from wild at heart I got them in Notting Hill recently and they are just divine But somewhere I really really want to set myself back up with is a company called Freddy's flowers It's a subscription and you can choose whether you want them weekly bi-weekly monthly and Johnny got me that as a present when we still lived in Winchester. I think I had it for about six months. So I'm gonna set that subscription up for myself once I get back from my summer holiday. And it just means that every two weeks I have some fresh blooms or always seasonal blooms, which is amazing. They also teach you how to like properly cut them properly. What's the word? arrange them. <laughs> they teach you all of the little bits and bobs, which I love. So flowers in the house is an absolute must throughout the spring, summer. And then the final thing I have to show you is a little journal. This is actually from my friend's brand and she gifted me this and it's just beautiful. I'm yet to start it, but I wanted to show you guys this because a couple reasons. Number one, I feel like summer is really the time of routine. It's where I like to nail down my routine because I know we're going into the winter and I just like to be at a good pace, like kind of got my Got my ducks in a row. I also really enjoy wellness throughout summer. Um, not working out wellness, I'm not that kind of girl. But things like getting my head into a good place, um, journaling, manifesting. I know that word is so overused right now, but things like waking up and doing my mantras and all that jazz. And I feel like when it's sunny, I can really get myself in a good headspace. I really try and focus on my routine in the summer so that when it comes to the winter, it doesn't feel so doom and gloom. And like I say, I'm just in that routine already. So this is my friend's new journal, like I say. So I think it will look really beautiful stacked on top of a few books, maybe a candle. I'll have some of my crystals there. And it means every single night I will have it to refer to and write in, but also it's beautiful sat in my house. So just to give you a little kind of run through, basically you fill in morning and evening. There's things in here like rate how you're feeling, what are you grateful for? What's good in your life right now? What does success look like to you today? And it's just a really good way to start your day off really kind of think about the things you're grateful for, the things you want to achieve. I find this kind of thing brings me a lot of joy and sets me up for a good day. And then of course you go in in the evening and you review your day, which means you're ready for the next day and you can put some intentions in place. Okay, so that was my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and got some inspiration for your home. Like I say, some things are old, some things are new, but I just like to bring a new feel of life into the house through candles and diffusers and nice little homeware pieces and pajamas and all that jazz. So everything I've shown you will be linked down below. So make sure you head down there if you want to buy anything. And if you did like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.